my channel. Welcome back to another video. I'm Jessie and you're watching. I have wanted to film this video since I started on booktube and I'm just so excited that I actually am getting able to film it now. Y'all, this is going to be my very first ever bookshelf organization video. Now I have nine bookcases in this room. Um, three of them are, I was able to grab three of them from Ikea when they finally did their restock on their Billy bookcases and they also were on sale. So I was like, mm. I got so lucky to grab those. The rest of these bookcases in the room, this, the ones behind me, this bookcase here, um, there's another one over there. Uh, all are all of those are from the thrift store. And this one here is also from Ikea. This one was actually hanging out in my storage unit. I would have loved to just fill this room with Billy bookcases from Ikea and be a real booktuber, but mm, the way that my wallet and the way COVID is set up, that just was not possible. So the bookcases are all very mismatched, mis mix matched, mismatched. They're all very mismatched. And I think that that's okay. Like I'm totally fine with the fact that it's not uniform and perfectly aesthetically pleasing. I'm gonna make it work regardless. I'm gonna decorate them. I'm just really, really excited. So this video might bug some of you who are really big into symmetry and like things even, and yeah, that's that's not what you're getting on this channel. We have already established that this channel is a hot mess, and so am I. My book room is gonna be no different. What I did is I put all of my books in piles according to the genre. The plan um, that I have, my plan of action, my plan of attack is going to be to Oh shit, I gotta take these books off the shelves. I have so much work to do. I have put sticky notes on my bookcases and those sticky notes are gonna tell me what genre of books are gonna go on those cases. So I've separated my contemporary books, I've separated my science fiction, my fantasy books, etc. First plan of attack is going to be to put my books in alphabetical funking order because they're already organized by genre, but I like to organize my books by um, author last name. So that's gonna be fun. <laughs> Without further ado, let's get right into the organization, y'all. Okay, so I just finished organizing in alphabetical order all of my romance books. As you can see, I have a very robust <laughs> romance collection and they're gonna go on this very first shelf here that is ex exclusively going to be dedicated to romance. <laughs> Now the next shelf that I have to organize is contemporary and those books I have a lot of. I have way more contemporary books than I thought I did. To make this fun, comment down below with your guess as to which genre of books I have the most of. So do you think I have the most science fiction books? Do you think I have the most fantasy books, the most contemporary literature, nonfiction? Put your guesses down below. I actually don't know myself, so I'm going to be finding out with you as we go along through this video. Okay, so I don't actually don't have as many contemporaries as I thought that I did. I realized I was getting that mixed up with my literature pile. Comment down below and let me know what the distinction truly is between literature and contemporary because a lot of times I think of it as the seriousness and the tone of the writing is what makes something more literature, right? Like literary novels I think are more characterized by um, kind of a slower pace, a more aggressive prose, and exploring themes with a lot more care and I guess aggressiveness and detail than contemporary, but I don't know if that's the case. So sometimes like I'll pick up a book, like for example, such as Transcendent Kingdom by Ya Jesse, and I'm not sure if this should be in the literature or in the contemporary pile. I don't know. Give me your thoughts. <laughs> My contemporary books are up. Now it is time for me to organize my literature historical fiction shelf. I have a lot of historical fiction books, so I think I'm gonna put my historical fiction books directly under the contemporary books. I'm not quite sure how much of these bookcases I, I will be able to fill. I will organize things kind of tightly packed, and then if I have more space than I anticipated, I will spread them out. I'm putting all of my YA books on a separate shelf. Yes, I know that, on a separate bookcase rather. Yes, I know that YA is not a genre, but YA is something that I need to be in the mood for. So I think it's gonna be a really good idea for me to just like have a shelf that is totally devoted to YA. <laughs> fiction 
shelf is complete. Um, what are you? Are you historical fiction? 1969? Guess not. Guess it's not complete at all. Okay. We are back. Jimmy's Mary Bride. Better not find one more historical fiction book in here, so help me God. Okay, what year are you set? Oh my God, in the fall of 2007. Kill me! These should be, in theory, my last two historical fiction books. All right, party freaking time. I'm really in the mood for some fun, which means I've decided to move on to my thriller bookshelf, my thriller horror mystery bookshelf. I am so excited about this one. And I have a pretty decent sized stack here. I have this stack and then there's another one just behind it that's a little bit smaller. So. I'm going to get started organizing this. What I'm gonna do, in case you haven't picked up on this, I'm using the shelves to like set the books down as I put them in alphabetical order and then I'll move them up. It's just easier than doing it on the floor because my tripod doesn't go low enough for you to see what I'm doing on the floor. So I'm using my, I'm using my shelves. I'm trying to make it easy on y'all as the viewers. <laughs> to take those books that I've just alphabetized and put them in their proper place. Now I think would be a good time to get my science fiction and fantasy out of the way. No one's surprised, there is of course going to be a special shelf dedicated to black girl magic. So I'm gonna start with my black girl magic books. First two books I put on the shelf are magical realism. I simply just don't have enough magical realism books to make a whole shelf yet. Okay, it's getting difficult for me to tell how much space I need to leave because I have a lot of YA books. So what I should have done was started by organizing them. I'm going to switch things up. I'm gonna start organizing my young adult fiction books and then I can organize everything around them. Cause I'm pretty sure that they are going to exceed one bookshelf. Hi doggy. Hi doggy. Hi doggy. Are you, are you biting me? Why am I being attacked? Huh? Why am I being attacked? Ma'am, Subit. I've seen in a while. Okay, thank you. All right, um, I'm being attacked. I'm being attacked, help me. Oh my gosh, ow. Um, so I think that I, I think I need to take a break and um, do my duties as a puppy owner. Okay. Akasha, do you wanna just come say hi instead of attacking me? Hmm? Stupid. Why am I being attacked? Huh? Why am I being attacked? Do you want to go play? Huh? Oh, okay. Yes. She I'll I'll be right back. Ow! What up y'all? We are back from the dog park. That was fun. We had a lot of fun as you can tell because I'm now wearing two different earrings. Why am I wearing two different earrings? I'll tell you, it's because Akasha got a little too excited and ripped the earring out of my ear. And then she ran away with it. She returned it in two separate pieces. So now I have to figure out how to put it back together. My ear is fine, uh, obviously. Like she didn't actually like rip it through my ear, thank goodness. <laughs> so we did that, we ran a couple errands and now we are back at it. Found another stack of Black Girl Magic books that I'm going to add to my Black Girl Magic shelf. And when we got home, I set up all of my YA books in alphabetical order. So they are currently on the floor right next to me, all in order in this just beautiful, alphabetically satisfying pile. And don't worry, I am also going to organize them by genre within YA. So they're still gonna be organized by like contemporary science fiction, fantasy, etc. But I'm going to put these Black Girl Magic books up first. The 
did y'all see my short ass fighting for my life to put those books on that shelf? I'm trying to decide if I want to put up my small stack of science fiction books before I put up all my YA books. I think I'm just going to do my small stack of sci-fi books first. Okay. So fantasy shelf, the fantasy shelf is complete. Now we're going to add in the science fiction books. Okay. So my science fiction books are up. These are my young adult fiction, young adult books. And then I do have this small pile of more YA books that I need to organize. We're going to get started by pulling out all of the contemporary books. Okay, so I think that's like contemporary, so contemporary, um, contemporary. What are you? Are you contemporary? Nope, historical. in here please kill me I'm ready to die it's my time oh oh, oh I had so many legs oh, I hate insects oh my god okay it's fine I just had a little panic attack it's fine it's fine oh my god uh, oh I hate when this happens You're breaking my fucking heart. Okay. Um, well, this book doesn't fit here, so I'm gonna have to put you somewhere else. I'll put my young adult historical fiction books right next to the contemporary ones. Next, I'm going to go with my young adult nonfiction, like this. You can be a little divider. Historical fiction, and I'll need to put a divider there as well, since that's a separate genre. Now it is time to see if my YA fantasies will fit on one shelf. I can already tell that that's not going to happen, so I'm going to have to do some maneuvering. What up y'all? As it is now about 8.30 at night. Why is it 8.30 at night when I started filming this video around noon? I'll tell you why. It's because my dog, okay, we took a break. We did dog park stuff, you know, did some ex did did our exercise. My I look over and we get we get home. I'm back to organizing. I look over and this is what I see. And in case you're unsure of what you're looking at, <laughs> Akasha has taken one of her toys and she knows she's not supposed to be in this room. So what she did was she took the toy and just dropped it at the entrance of the door and just was standing there waiting like, please wrap this up and come play with me. So dog always takes precedence. So I took her back to the dog park um, and we actually went traipsing through the woods and we got lost, not literally lost, but just as an earth sign, I love the woods. I really, really do. So we actually ended up spending two hours there. I'm exhausted. She's exhausted. I sweated off all of my makeup. Um, it was great. It was, it was honestly, I needed it. It's been a really stressful week and it just, it really gave me a nice reset. And now I'm ready to continue filming this video and to finish it for y'all to finish strong. I'm so excited to get the, to see this room like put up. I, I freaking cannot wait. This final pile of literature books organized. I'm going to be putting these books underneath my historical fiction bookshelf, which is right here. So they're gonna go, they're literally gonna go right here. I think there's so much overlap between literature and historical fiction, so I'm not gonna be too picky about what goes where. Okay, I have a question for y'all as um, I'm organizing these books. Do y'all have to sing the alphabet in your head as you go through and organize? Or do you just have such a good lock on the English alphabet that you don't have to sing the whole freaking song or part of the song? Um, let me know in the comment section down below because I really struggle with having, like, with looking at, let's say, an M and an O. Well, okay, let's say an M and an, let's say a, I don't know, like a V and a U. And I'll be like, wait, which one comes first? Um, 
And then I'll have to sing the whole freaking song or half of the song in order to figure out where I'm supposed to be, where the book is supposed to go. I'm smart, as you can see. I'm, I'm a really sharp cookie. Y, yeah, does Y come before or after W? W, X, Y, okay, yeah, there we go. See what I mean? Like I have to sing the freaking alphabet and which is weird because I spend so much of my time reading and I have such a great like memorization, rote memorization is something I'm really good at. My semantic memory is amazing. But for some reason, I really struggle with the alphabet and the order that the letters come in. It's so freaking strange. Also comment down below if you are able to um, sing the alphabet backwards because there is no, if I ever get pulled over and asked to sing the alphabet backwards, I am going to jail. I'm going straight to jail. I'm not even going to try. I'm just going to get in the back of the squad car because, because <laughs> there's just no way. It's just not realistic. Next, I have my non-binary fiction. I am so excited that there, there are enough non-binary spectrum authors all over the world that are publishing books that I can have a dedicated shelf to their works. So freaking stoked about that. I just, I honestly just cannot freaking wait. So non-binary fiction is gonna go here. Okay, I just grabbed all of my classics and I'm going to get started on my classic bookshelf. And I know some of you are probably wondering, okay, well, you definitely have more bookshelves bookshelves than you have books. I did that kind of intentionally. I did it because I I just moved into this duplex with Akasha and honestly the rent for the space that we are getting and the area that we live in, it is a steal. Like I found my dream home um, at my dream price and I plan on being here until my landlord kicks me out, um, which means that I'm planning on living here for as long as I possibly can. So throughout time, I will be able to fill these bookcases, but I'm also not in any hurry because if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I'm very conservative about how I get books. I, I don't do my unhauls on camera often, but I, um, but I do very often, very regularly unhaul books. Just because I try to be careful about my consumerism, I try not to accept so many books that my t my unread TBR is huge. There's nothing wrong with people who do that. You know, I just, it causes me anxiety to have a ton of unread books. So I strive to read all of the books on my shelves. And when I have read the majority of the books on my shelves, that's when you'll see me start buying books again. So um, I'm, I, a lot of these books I haven't read, which means I'm kind of like just buying my highly anticipated releases and the books that my favorite authors are coming out with and some books that caught my eye. I also use my library very liberally. Uh, the majority of the books that I read come from my library, although in the last year, because of COVID, that hasn't been the case. Um, I've been reading the books that have been sent to me or that have been on my shelves. Holmes, uh, Doyle, okay, so this goes in the D. Okay, I'm gonna try not to make a joke about penis. Um, okay, what was I saying <laughs> before I turned into a five-year-old? So I had this rule when I started on booktube that I do not buy books that I haven't read. So when I started on booktube two years ago, I had a rule where I would get it from my library, read it, and then if I liked the book, um, if it didn't have harmful, hurtful, oppressive content in it, etc., then I would buy it. And, and that has changed because of COVID. Um, it, it's changed because of y'all asking me to review like new releases um, and things like that in the Black Girl Magic series, which often are new releases. And then I have to annotate those books because I'm, you know, if you follow my Black Girl Magic series, you know, it's like a really in-depth review of those books. Okay, you can't see it, but I'm putting my classics down here on the shelf. But now that my library is open again, I'm going, you're going to see me go back to using my library. I've also gotten really big into audiobooks this year. So a lot of the books that I've read are on audio. Move the camera. So hopefully you will be able to see what I'm doing better. I wish my tripod went lower so that I could give you guys a better view. But um, yeah, a lot of the books that I've read on are on audio. And this is kind of like the way that I've always read books. Like literally ever since I was a kid, I would read books from the library first and then I would buy them later. Like I would buy a bunch of books. I would save up my money throughout the year and then I would buy all the books that I had read and loved for, for myself for Christmas. Obviously with COVID, that's not gonna happen this year. And it also didn't happen last year because I just didn't have the funds for it, which is not a big deal. The big deal is like supporting your library and reading the books. And I still am buying books and supporting new releases and supporting authors with a focus on BIPOC and LGBTQ plus authors. So I'm really, I'm just really conservative 
with the books that I buy and I'm very intentional about what books that I buy. And so that's why my book room is like not as glamorous as other book rooms. And I'm personally okay with that. I am a-okay with that. Although I would love nothing more than to see this room filled with books one day, but I'm just not in a hurry for that to happen, if that makes sense. Okay, that one I didn't organize. My classics I did not organize by genre. I just did by author last name because I just don't have enough of them yet to really organize by genre. So I'm not making too big of a deal of that. And right now I am putting uh, in alphabetical order all of my short fiction and my poetry books, which I also don't have a whole lot of. How about this? And then this is by Neil Hilborn. Um, okay. In order. Okay. You guys, I'm going to put here. I'm like looking at these shelves and I, I'm, I want to figure out how to make them look a little bit more robust. Okay. Drama Queens. Okay. I think I know what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take these books. These are YA fantasy books, YA and middle grade fantasies. And I'm going to take them from this shelf and I'm going to put them down here on this shelf. And then I'm going to use these shelves for my nonfiction books. I want to put my fantasy books here so that they're next to the science fiction books. So I'm going to take these two shelves and move them down. I know the bells should be on my black girl magic shelf but thankfully that shelf is full I'm just so glad that I have like that we have enough black girl magic books in 2020 that they fill that they can fill an entire shelf like I think that's freaking amazing okay now it is time for the nonfiction books okay why did I not put these in alphabetical order earlier I think I'm just gonna organize them directly on the shelves because I'm tired <laughs> and I'm running out of patience I also found this old magazine rack at a thrift store and I painted it white. I did a very bad job painting it because I'm not a painter. Um, it was literally only like $3 and it, I, there was no way that I couldn't not have it. So my plan is to put my leftover um, graphic novels in here, the ones that don't fit in my comics cubby. I have installed some floating shelves. I had these shelves installed in my old apartment and um, I'm gonna put my favorite series and my holy grail books on that shelf. I love that I have the Broken Earth Trilogy and the King Killer Chronicles on their own shelves, but you can see the head of the shelf um, peeking out because the books aren't large enough. So I'm gonna have to put something underneath them, which sucks because it's gonna mess up the... I'm ready to curl up with my puppy, have some dinner, and watch something spooky and scary. So I'm going to pop in tomorrow and I will finish the room. It is like 90% done. I am so excited, y'all. Okay, I will see you tomorrow.
bookshelf organization is officially complete. The theme of this room of these shelves is haunted forest. Um, because I am an earth sign, I love, love, love vines and plants and anything to do with the earth, but I also have a spooky side. And so I really wanted to feel like I'm in this dark, haunted forest whenever I'm in this room. And that's actually the vibe of my whole house of how it's decorated. So if you made it this far in the video, comment down below with the word forest or put a tree emoji in the comment section. Now, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a bookshelf tour. If you want to see a bookshelf tour from me, please comment down below and let me know. But that's going to do it for this video. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would love it if you became a part of my bookish family. All of my social media links are in the description box below, along with the link to my TBR cards, which are now on sale. Stay safe, wear your mask, and I can't wait to see you in my next video.